great job, guys. All right, so next year, I'll take you with me. That's different. So then, this is the question for this year. Is it a mountain or a hill? It's a volcano. It's a volcano. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. By the way, anyone taking notes? Volcano plug. <laughs> so I, I just want to thank you all for collaborating with me on this piece. It, it's really cool that it started with you guys, and I just came to help them facilitate it. So major shout out to you guys and to all the teachers. All the staff, the principal, Edgar, and you guys have both been hanging with me the entire time. So thank you so much. A big shout out to my art best mom, Jackie. She's been taking Jackie! care of me. Woo! Really, I mean, really, has been taking care of me. You guys all have. It's been such a great experience. All the students. Uh, maybe one of my favorite murals I've ever done. It's been such a great time. So thank you. That's huge. How many have you done, Brian? I've done murals for the past 15 years all around the world. And uh, this this will be uh, if not my most favorite. That's amazing! Thank you. So thank you. Do you mind if I say? All right, just about to grab my girl pass. One more shout out for Jackie. This is a huge time. Our show is just doesn't happen without her. Bottom line in the story. So thank you guys so much. Uh, what I said to Brian today is, and I think something that just stayed here, everybody can see. Is that of course this is just covered on a wall, but it's amazing the way art can transform a space. And this entire space, therefore this entire campus, the way it feels, is completely transformed in the positive because he was here because of the work that he did. So can we show him how appreciative that we are of his work here? So if you can explain it to us and then maybe read what you wrote to us on the back, that would be awesome. Alright, so uh, as you can see, I, I paint in this technique a lot, but I also work uh, on, on canvases in a little different of a technique. I call it drip painting. And it's kind of a, a, a combination of dripping like Jackson Paul did in the late 50s, but also more contemporary art than what, uh, what Banksy does, who is a stencil artist. So I'm combining two different techniques. So over here on the far right, you have uh, the Coyote design, which is the same exact design as what you see right here. And it's created in my drift technique. And the way that I do this is I put a canvas on a table and I paint facing down. And my brush never touches the canvas. It's all drift paint. The way that I get the hard edges, just like the hard edges you see here, is I cut stencils. So I drip through a stencil, let it dry, release that stencil, add a new stencil, and continue dripping until I got through every stencil. So it's a different technique, and what I've done is I created the video, and um, I think some teachers here can share the video with you guys, but it documents every step throughout the creative process. And for me, the art is the creative process, where this is more of a trophy that represents me going through that process. So please take a, uh, take a look at that video, and uh, on the back, I just really wrote a little message to the school thanking you guys, and I said stay bright, because I think you have one of the brightest murals around, and it's it's a present to you guys to show my my gratitude and um, and yes.